hello and welcome to the youtube channel today we will be discussing about the component engineering what is component engineering what a component engineer do so we will see all the responsibilities of component engineer let's explore here on the screen you can see different type of components are given there capacitor is there then ic is there and different type of capacitor is there led is there so these all are known as the electronic components you can see in the pcb there are lots of manufact lots of components are available on a single pcb in order to work it properly it has to be these are some capacitors used this is some ic used this is an led and so on so the major question is who is a component engineer what are their responsibilities what does he do the component engineer ensure the availability of suitable components but how so the component engineer engineers typically select qualify approve document and manage purchased components and direct material required to produce an end product so this end product here is the final product which any manufacturer sell in the market it can be your mobile phone or it can be anything else ranging from any industry say television laptops fans etc Let's now see what are the responsibilities. The so component engineer is supposed to work on supplier callback process, enterprise change request or order process, then change request, change notice, problem report, scrubbing of bill of material, then product change notice and end of life notice handling, NPC and risk classification, like what type of the risk any pcn poses on the availability of a component as we had earlier discussed components engineer role is to make sure the availability of components hts and ecn codes identific identification the hts code and ecn codes are required when any company imports products from other countries so USA has their own HTS codes, European Union has their own codes, Switzerland has their own codes. We will discuss all these things about SCB issue and all the remaining things in our coming videos. There are some more responsibilities like validating manufacturer part number, data sheet, capturing the part specifications. Draws. These are the environmental compliance. Any in component engineer has to work upon capturing moisture sensitivity level and other lots of parameters are given in the data sets. Then database management and changes in the DMS database management system. It can be your SAP system or it can be your other database management systems which are available in the market. To summarize what, a, what are the component engineers responsibilities you will see there what component engineer is supposed to do. A component engineer will do the bomb cleansing, obsolescence management, cost reduction. So you may ask okay how a component engineer is supposed to do the cost reduction. Uh, well we are aware that electronic industry is changing at very fast pace. So the technology which was used 10 years back was costing very high as it cost today and even that technology is no more used new technologies are identified and they are cheap as compared to historical technologies so any company in order to be competitive in the market would do the cost reduction of their products in this case component engineers are asked to identify suitable components for their existing components which are used to make a product 
this comes the second source development so we can relate this thing to second source development data transformation a component engineer's role come into picture when a company acquires any second company so in this case this company is using their own database their own methods their own processes so in order to make everything as compliant you can say or in uniform format the second company's database has to be imported into the first company's database which is now the main company or parent organization so in that case a component engineer has to do the data transformation so i hope you get to learn something from this video if you have any, any questions comments and also let me know what would you want to see in the next slides or next topic video thank you that is the end of video